Hello, Morris Bainett, Technical Director at EgoMaster with you once again. And today we're going to talk dishwashers. Not how good one dishwasher is against the other, but why it's so common for householders to detect draft coming out around the dishwasher. In order to understand this, let's have a look at how kitchens are constructed. Now there's two basic types of construction of kitchens. The most common is this, where kitchens are set on hard kickers like this, framed kickers. So what you can see here is a number of things. Um, firstly, you can see that there are any number of sins behind the kickers. Generally, there's no skirting, so there's a gap between, if it's a timber floor, there's a gap between the, the wall and the floor, so there's potential airflow through there. You can see there's a hole in the wall. There's another hole there. There are various penetrations through the floor, so there's airflow there. And the kickers are shimmed up so that they're level, and that means that there's airflow um, all along the kicker as well. Not only that, but the, when the cupboards go on the kickers, um, they are screwed to the wall, but the wall's generally not very straight, and so the cupboards themselves are shimmed off the wall so that they're straight. Um, and so there's potential airflow up behind the cupboards as well. Okay, so what does all this mean? That there is potential airflow all around cupboards, underneath and behind the cupboards. Now let's take a look at the European style kitchens, uh, which are getting more, more and more popular. And they're not set on hard kickers like that, but they have adjustable legs under the cupboards. And the kickers are simply clipped onto the legs nice and easy but what does that mean it means that there is unrestricted airflow all the way under the cupboards and where the dishwasher recess is there is no kicker so if there's any airflow under the cupboards it's going to come straight out there where the dishwasher is so uh, let's have a look at a dishwasher recess here and let's see what issues we find in here so this one has a, um, a skirting here, but it's very common not to have a skirting. So if there's no skirt, we need to cork along the floor to the wall. Um, now we can see that there is a kicker here, so we know that it's a, um, a framed kicker. And it looks pretty well sealed along here and along the cupboard. So that's good. And also the cupboards look like they're hard up against the wall. It's a little unusual, this one. But um, anyway, these are the kinds of things that you need to look for. Again, we can see there that the cupboard is hard up against the wall. But look, there's a couple of holes in the walls. I think the electrician has been at it there, uh, putting some holes in the wall. So that's potential um, airflow point. Um, but if we fast forward a little bit more, we see up the top. And here's the real culprit in this case. Um, and so usually... If you're on a concrete slab, you're pretty sure not to have a draft around the dishwasher recess. But in this case, even if this is not a concrete slab, but if it was, you would still have the draft here because here's this giant gap between the bench, the kitchen bench and the wall. And so that is actually access into the brick veneer wall cavity, which is a highly ventilated space. And so that was the main culprit in this case. Um, so it's a matter of sealing up that huge gap there in order to stop the airflow coming around the dishwasher. So there you have it. The places to look are all around the dishwasher recess, basically. Make sure the cupboards are sealed against the wall. Make sure if there's no skirting that the gap between the floor and the wall is sealed. Um, and that the kickers are well sealed each side. If it's a European one, you need to infill that. And the um, chimney draft stopper is a great thing for actually doing that if you've got that situation. Um, there you are. Feel a draft coming around the dishwasher. Get the dishwasher out and have a good look around at where that's coming from. I hope that's been useful. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.